what a race it has turned into here at Monaco. Strategies really come into it today. Lando Norris is still hounding Charles Leclerc, but Verstappen is taking bags of time out of everyone late on in the day. It won't be enough, though. But can Charles find a way to defend from Lando Norris in the final couple of laps here of the Monaco Grand Prix? We are just trying to keep it on the island. I honestly was super worried that the penalty was going to make the difference, all things considered. But as we make our way to start the final lap then here at Monaco, as long as we don't do anything stupid, come on, bring this car to the flag. We want the win. Everyone doubted me. We took pole in qualifying with one of the weirdest qualifying sessions I've ever had in F123. Probably could have had it by even more had we bought one on the Inters earlier on in the session. But Q3 started right on the crossover period and somehow, yeah, the track seemed to fall into favour on the intermediate tyres. We got a podium last weekend at Imola that should have been a win and I honestly thought okay, that race right. was going to be the one that got away this season. But... Well, Williams, we are back. We are ready to fight. 110 AI is going to make things difficult throughout the rest of the campaign. But this was always meant to be a difficult challenge, and it doesn't get much more difficult than this. A 100% race here at the Monaco Grand Prix. But as we make our way through this final lap, I think Charles Leclerc's just about done enough to hang on from Lando Norris. Verstappen is right there with them now as well. But in towards the final couple of corners, for the first time... Since 2012, when one, uh, when sorry, Pastor Maldonado won the Spanish Grand Prix out of the final corner, Williams are back on top. Thank you.